<laughs> All right, so who do we got next? Martin Eisenlofel. Sorry I for butchering your last name. That, that, that just seems to be what I do. Um, but Martin, thank you once again for joining in this week, week five. Ready to make some noise. Uh, let's see here. A pixel peeper like me totally hates to push the ISO to anything higher than 800, but the challenge this week was to go out and take shots at your camera's highest ISO. It was colder than a grave digger's boot out tonight. I didn't get too much, but I fulfilled the requirement. I haven't sacrificed for my art in forever. Thank you very much for adding that. That's exactly what this challenge is for. Not just this challenge, but every Sharp Go challenge is meant to get out, get you out there doing something different, trying new things, and uh, exploring new territory for your photography skills. So that's it's meant to push you a little bit. So uh, I also went out and I froze my nads off while trying to get my shots. So I realized, you know, hell of a, of a challenge to, to put out. Like, go get some night shots and, you know, freeze your butt, butt right off. But, you know... Uh, hopefully you'll forgive me and you had some fun and you got some good shots. Let's take a look. So this one looks like a selfie, is it? You took a picture in something. Do I know where this is? No, I don't think I do. Dude, I don't even know if you're in Guelph, are you? I'm not really sure. My self-reflected in a parking garage mirror. Cool, so you got a little bit of the distortion here. Uh, you know, spots on here. Very cool. And let's see. What did... No! No! Where are your settings? Ah! I don't know why Flickr does this. On some photos it shows it, and some photos it doesn't. I can get access to the settings, but uh, I assume that uh, you did you did shoot this at 6400. I'm seeing the noise and grain come in, and I'm also seeing some... This looks like some mess on the mirror itself. Uh, must have been cold. Some Maybe some, uh, some condensation freezing up on there. Uh, but very cool, very cool selfie going on here, and looks pretty pretty well lit. Uh, yeah, good uh, good eye there. And look at that! Look at all the light that you can see here. Look at the story of all these windows. This is very cool. How are all of these windows open? This is does someone go around closing all of them, or do they stay open all year round? Like that's that's a hell of a job. I'm imagining like the old 1800s when the guys had to go like from street lamp to street lamp. I had had to light each and every one with a long stick with a with a flame on the end of it. Um, so you know, similarly, someone ha would have to at night go to each one on like a giant ladder and kind of. <laughs> Probably no uh, no one actually does that. I'm probably just making that stuff up. Seagram Lofts. I'm shocked no one arrested me, really. Why would someone arrest you? Huh. Seagram Lofts. I'm going to have to look up where that is. Again, no settings. But, uh, yeah, looks looks very cool. Looks pretty tightly cropped in there, but uh, this could even work really well as a black and white because you've got some windows on, some windows, some windows with the lights on, some windows with, bleh, some windows with the lights on, some windows with the lights off. So, there we go. I had to get it right a few times. But very cool. Um, yeah, my eye doesn't quite know where to go, but uh, good use of, you know, uh, you, you, you saw light. You, you said, you know, oh, this is a night shot. Hi, so it's pumped up, but we need more light. So good on you for seeing the, uh, for seeing the light and taking advantage of that there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, is your last shot here, a lone shopping cart in the middle of a snowy street. Very cool. Street light uh, offering as much light as it can. Very cool. Um, yeah. You know, it's a shot of a shopping cart, but it's properly exposed. You bump the ISO up and you, you change your settings accordingly. And we're seeing the limitations of uh, your camera in, in low light. For some reason, this is parked right outside my neighbor's front yard. Hey, maybe those are his wheels. You never know, man. Don't knock it. That can be a lot of fun. Take that for a spin. Actually, just you know, slap your camera on the side there. You know, duct tape it there, and then you know, take it off down the street, and you got yourself a homemade jolly, homemade uh, dolly right there. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so, you know, so thank you for going out and taking some shots. Um, you know, hopefully, whoops, hopefully uh, we'll get you in on the next few challenges. They'll get nice and creative, and we'll talk more about uh, the uh, creative side uh, of taking the shots, the composition, choice of subject. Uh, capturing the moment, that sort of thing. But here is a good opportunity to see the limitations of noise, and actually, you know what, uh, of limitations of uh, low light and ISO. 
Um, and you know what? Not a lot of noise going on. Look at that. Not so much noise there. This one here, there's a lot of texture in the building anyway, so the ISO kind of kind of or the uh, the noise, sorry, uh, kind of disappears right into it. And here we're seeing noise in the sky. If you were to bring this in a light room, if you were really touchy about that, you could just kind of bring the shadows level down a little bit. That disappears. So we, you know, we know that. Uh, it's perfectly fine to take shots with a little bit of noise. We're not so afraid of noise. Noise doesn't scare us no more. So thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be moving into full manual and uh, some other really fun creative challenges in the next few weeks. So Martin, thank you for contributing. I hope we'll see you next time.